Hello everyone, my name is Imran and today I'm going to introduce you to one of the most awaited packages of Frontity which is called Frontity Contact Form 7. So as the name depicts, it's basically a package for Contact Form 7 plugin that you have for WordPress. So this allows you to go ahead and uh, use the Contact Form 7 form on any of your Frontity themes. Brilliant. So this pack is already available on NPM. You can uh, do an NPM install, contact form 7 and use it. And let me show you that, how that works. So let's say I go ahead and fill my name over here. I don't fill this field. This is required uh, just to show you that it does handle messages as well. And this is my message. And if I click send, you can see it's processing. And now you get an error saying that one or more fields have an error please check again and you have an error message over here saying that this field is required let me just go ahead and put my email address there okay and I just hit enter and there you go it's processing and says thank you for your message your message has been sent let's go back to my email and you should be able to see there you go you can see that messages come now nice and clean in the body of the message you have this is my message isn't that amazing it's absolutely brilliant. Great. So now I'm going to show you how it works and how you will be able to use this for one of your themes. Uh, so let's begin then. So as you can see, this is my WordPress website. All I'm going to do is just search for contact form 7. If you've already got the contact form 7 installed, brilliant. This is for those who haven't installed it. I'll just install it for myself. I'm just showing that to you as a fresh start. Activate it. And once I've activated, I will have the contact form 7 menu uh, that will appear over here on the left hand side. So there you go. This is the one. Click on it. This gives you a short code. So you just copy this short code and go ahead and create a page. Or you can also add it to any of your existing page. So what I'll do is I'll just name my page like contact form 7. And I just go ahead and paste this short code, publish my page and then I should be able to see uh, this particular form onto the front end. So I'll go over here, view page, and this is my contact form 7, right? Awesome. So what I want to do is I want to get this going onto my front end uh, React application which is uh, you know built with Frontity into my React theme. So what will I do? The first thing you do is, of course, if you don't have a project set up, you can quickly set up the project. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this command and go ahead and install Frontity. If you have got your project already set up, that's brilliant. You can just use that. I will just set this up. Okay, so I've got my project set up and then if you go to the readme of the npm package or you can also go to the repository uh, which is at frontity contact form 7 you've got all of the information in the readme how it works the features the installation and things like that okay so if you have a look so in order first to install it all i have to do is just install this package npm install contact form 7 which is basically what we can grab from here and just to npm install frontity contact form 7 so it's going to go ahead and install the frontity contact form 7 package and now i'm just going to open that into my text editor so i'll just go and open that so i've got that open now and if you now check the package.json you can see frontity contact form 7 has been installed the next step is which is pretty simple because it's a zero configuration setup you just need to add the package name into the frontity settings.js. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the package name, go to my frontity settings.js, and I'm just going to go ahead and add this here in quotes. Uh, if you haven't already done this, this is I wouldn't call this a step. I'm sure if you've installed it, you're going to put your URL over here for WordPress. So my WordPress site URL is codytech.com and of course you can change it here as well i'll leave that so basically we just need to add a menu over here so that it uh, the contact form 7 gets displayed in the menu so all i have to do is just put the square brackets 
Okay, and then I can name them anywhere or whatever I want. Let's say I put contact form and then it needs the URL that it needs to serve the page from. So remember that we had set up a page called contact form 7 and the slug of that page is contact form 7 which is in the front end, this one right here. So all I'm going to do is just take the slug of that page and just put that over here, okay? So that's all I have to do and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. So once you do it, you, you save that, you go back to your front end and if you just refresh, there you go, you can see, bingo. We got the contact form seven going on over here, awesome. So as you can see, we had put the content over here and that content is being visible on the front end as well. Isn't that brilliant? Awesome. Now you must be wondering that why do I not see the styles? Reason for this is because even your contact form by default does not add styles on the input fields or the buttons etc because your theme would have your own styles for those forms so if contact form 7 adds its own style then it would look a little off so which is why we would need to add the style in the theme itself okay so I have already gone ahead and created some styles so I'm just going to paste that into my theme so if you just go to your theme packages mars theme source components and you go to post and then this is coming from the content let's switch to react this is css and js so we've got this content component and i can just paste the css for the input fields right here like this that's it awesome now if i go back and check great it's been styled so you can style it the way you want to if you're using Mars theme, uh, you can go ahead and style it over here inside of the post, inside of the content styled component. And um, I would go ahead and add these styles uh, as a contribution in the front uh, Mars theme as well. So probably this might already be available in the future and you don't have to add it yourself. But if you want to customize, you can certainly do that. Awesome. So now if you check, if you click on send, you can see it's processing. And it says one of more fields have error please check again and these fields are not filled if you do an inspect element and if you try to send the form you can see that this is rest api endpoint of contact form 7. okay and you've got all of these fields that we've got the error from that we are being displaying over here awesome so i'm going to fill the correct information now hi this is my second message and just send it and there you go you say it's processing and then you have a message saying thank you for your message it's been sent now if i go back to my email sooner or later you can see now that you've got codetec blocks and you've got the message the body the package is awesome great that's brilliant in the next tutorials in fact you will learn about how we have created this package so if you go on to the readme of the frontity contact form 7 it will give you a basic idea of you know how we've created it so ian smith have worked on it so um, it explains to you that you know what is the process involved so basically we are using the html processes uh, to convert the html into react that's why we're using the html to react so if you go to the github okay and please feel free to add a star if you like it and uh, if you go over here into the packages contact form 7 go to source and you can see we have processes that we build if you go to index.js you can see that we're using html to react and we have created different processes for form inputs hidden inputs so the job of this html to react is to basically convert the html into react okay uh, since we are rendering these components and um, basically take the content of the page convert it into react uh, and render it over here so even if you have multiple forms if you have multiple short codes on a single page all of those will be rendered so if you have multiple forms don't need to worry you can just use it this will not only work for pages but it'll also work for posts as well you can clearly see how simple it was all you had to do is just do npm install the name of the package add the package name into the settings and just uh, go ahead and put your page wherever you want to and, that, and that's done so okay so i hope you did like uh, this video and uh, the contact form 7 uh, if you did please give a thumbs up 
and uh, also please star the repository to support our awesome work and to motivate us to do even better and uh, feel free to contribute to this package just to let you know that just to let you know that this is a pre-release version uh, some of the features may not work okay so we have already added support for your default form as you can see uh, that we've already got your uh, name and email and subject message all of that this is basically the the main important uh, fields that are required for a form we've also supported other things like select and then we've got a telephone number and a couple other fields as well but there are some fields which we need to add support for later even feel free that you can also contribute uh, if you want to contribute you know the, the information and instructions are given over here uh, how, how you can contribute okay and I'd also like to thank the entire Frontity team for making this beautiful framework for React which is completely focused on WordPress it is super easy and simple to make create packages and I'll soon be adding videos which will show you how to create packages if you have any questions you can leave a comment on the uh, community forum so if you go to frontity.org you can go to community if your question is related to any of the topics that are already there like these you can go ahead and put your question there uh, if it isn't you can create a new topic uh, like this and then just put your questions over there and I'm sure people in the community who are really helpful super awesome people will help you all right and if you did like the video uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran H. Sayed. Okay. And we will also be adding the support for other fields soon with this package into our final release. Great then. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.